Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to episode 6 of the Oblivion walkthrough. But anyway, in this video, uh, we're starting on the Necromancer's Moon quest. I didn't restore the start of the quest because I wasn't sure who to talk to to actually start this quest, so I just talked to a bunch of people and I started it. And yeah, I didn't record that part. But anyway, I basically just talked to two people and then picked up a book, and that's all. And yeah, this is like one of the shortest quests in the Mage's Guild quest line. I think it's actually the shortest one. But um, all you gotta do is give him the book, and then after that, um, not go to the Imperial Ori. After that, oh, do we go back in here? Okay, never mind. Now we talk to her. Necromancers. Was that it? Okay, I got a hastily scrawled note. Now I talk to him again. All we have to do is like go to a little area and kill someone, and it's really fast. Oh, and I guess I was got Robe of the Conjurers. I thought I already got those, but um, maybe he gives you more if you ask him again. I'm not sure. But we need to go to Dark Fissure, and all you do is you like you go in there and then you kill one guy and then you leave. It's I don't even see the point of it. Um, but there are, it's like a necromancer-like cave kind of thing. But anyway, yeah, it's it's like the quickest dungeon you ever have to do in this game, because you only have to kill, like, one person. Um, and this, what is it, this place right ahead of us, uh, this cave, this is part of a quest as well, but we'll get into that later. I think this quest is for the Fighter's Guild, actually. Um, the swampy cave here. I don't believe you can go in. Oh, I guess you can. Some caves that are part of quests, uh, they'll say door is locked requires a key and then as soon as you start the quest they will automatically unlock but I guess not that one and the game is not letting me climb up this hill here I'm trying I'm spamming the jump button sometimes this happens and it's just really hard to climb up hills I have to go all the way around which is a huge pain but oh well I'm gonna record this part just because I mean there's not really much to record in this quest at all so but um it's I think this quest is just a little more more for backstory. If you are one of the people that is into story and you know, I was at one time, like the second time I ever played this game, I listened to the story and all that. It's just I've heard it before, so and I'm not that big into game stories for the most part anyway, so that's why I'm not too concerned. Let's see, can we sneak up on this guy? I don't even know if he's bad. Oh. Oh, I guess he is a, a wizard. I was going to say, I hope I didn't just shoot a peaceful monk in the back or something. But, like, 99% of the time, if you see someone outside in the wilderness, he's going to be uh, an enemy. And he had nothing. Chainmail boots. I believe that is an upgrade over my current boots. Nope, never mind. I already had chainmail boots. Forget I just said that. So, nice little camp here. Hopefully, this camp will also provide a way up the hill. So we have to go to Dark Fissure, which I know is a very pleasant sounding place. Oh no. Oh no, am I going to get stuck again? Yep. Whoa, watch your language. I will be back when I figure out how to get up there. Okay, I, it looks like I found a path not too far away. But yeah, apparently this part of the hill, this little grayish brown part of the hill, you can walk up that. You just can't walk up any other part of the hill. I don't know, this game sometimes. If something is, uh, I guess, marked as a path because the ground is a little bit grayer, you can walk up that. But anyways, you can clearly see this is not a very healthy place to be. Um, this is like a necromancer's lair. And... All you have to do is like shoot one guy and take his book. This guy right here, you shoot him, take his book. Oh my goodness. Oh, and this guy is, it says Worm Anchorite. I don't know what an Anchorite is, but the, I guess the main enemy um, is called the Worm King. And you get to kill him at the very end of the Mage's Guild. And Yeah, that's like the last quest and then you can become the Archmage or something like that. But I can't remember, it's been a long time. I can't remember if the old Archmage dies or if he just steps down. I don't know why he's punching me with his fists. Uh oh. But all you have to do is take this handwritten note 
and not take the necromancer's robes. I do not want those. But yeah, you just gotta take that handwritten note, and that's it. And then you just go back to the Arcane University. Um, I'm not sure if you can explore further on in this dungeon or not. This might be like part of a quest later. I thought this was part of a quest later, but whatever. We're going to explore just a bit. Because I like kind of exploring dungeons and stuff like that. Some of you guys might not, but... You know, I, I do like doing all the quest lines, but sometimes I like to just go in a dungeon and explore and see what I can see. Really? That skeleton saw me? That's so lame. And this is actually a skeleton, it's not a summon. That's weird. Uh oh. Run. And it's a skeleton hero. Crap. <laughs> that looks like a trap if I've ever seen one. Okay, let's try out this elven short sword. I still got my crappy steel shield, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if I step on that uh, wooden trap looking thing if I'm going to die or not, so I'm not going to risk it quite yet. And Holy crap, I'm getting owned. <laughs> Heal up a little bit here. I almost forgot to loot him. Potion of healing, I might need that pretty soon here. But yeah, I don't like dealing with uh, skeleton heroes, they're really annoying. That guy's just a summon, so I won't even worry about him. The great thing with Necromancers is you can just own them, because they don't block you and they have no armor, so... That's always nice. Alright, can we get over here without dying? Ooh. This doesn't exactly look healthy. It looks like that is gonna... Okay, never mind. This game sometimes will just own you with its traps. I have died a couple times to traps. I think I've died just as much to traps as I have to anything else. Is this going to be a skeleton hero? Probably. Really don't like skeleton heroes. At least he's an archer, which means he's going to drop some good arrows when he dies. And also archers don't block so much, which is always nice. And he's just a skeleton guardian, which is nice. Die. Iron arrows, bow meal. What kind of bow did he have? Is that just like a steel bow? Silver bow. I'm not going to worry about it then, I have a better one. I want to find an elven bow. So I got an elven sword, and I use my bow way more. Come on, just die. Please, thank you. Potions of sorcery. I'm not even sure what those do, but I sure do get a lot of them. Okay, any chests around here? Not so far. Oh, there's one up there. Um, almost missed that one. Mithril helmet. It only gives one armor though, so I'm not even going to worry about it. But actually, it is quite light. But I still do have that Dwarven Helmet, which gives better armor, so I'm not even going to worry about that. That's weird how there's like... The light on those walls is a bit off. Not sure why that is. Okay, Sneaky Mode activated. We want to be able to get extra sneak damage on people before they see us. I should probably get like some enchanted arrows pretty soon, because uh, the main time I use my bow is when I'm sneaking, so you want to get as much damage in as possible. Let's see, oh, I see an enemy down there. Probably a skeleton hero. Do I have to fight him? I think I do. Well, it's actually, it's up to me if I want to fight him or not, but I'm going to decide to do it. I'm no coward. Here we go. And battle up. Oh, yet again, another low level skeleton. Thank you. I am trying to train my block skill up a little bit as well. Because that skill was quite low for quite some time because I just never used my shield at all. But block is a very, very fast skill to train, so that's always nice. It's annoying to train. If you want a power train, you have to just stand in front of an enemy and let them wail on you while you block. Um... Which can be quite annoying because when you block people, it staggers them as well. So you have to like wait them, wait for them to regain their composure and all before. Holy crap! This is a large area, and I only see two enemies: a zombie up there and a necromancer over there. Okay, let's see if we can hit this shot. Someone noticed me, but I think it's just my scamp. Three times damage. 
I could have sworn this is like part of a quest later, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Take her out. Boom. Alright, she's down. And we'll take care of this zombie that's walking around over there. And someone else noticed me as well. Maybe it's just this mud crab. Okay. It was just the mud crab. I hope there's like some epic loot that I can find in this dungeon. Oh crap, he noticed me. And this is just a regular old headless zombie, so we'll dispatch of him pretty quickly. Look at all that really bad textured looking blood on the ground. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy. I don't know if there's a way to turn off blood in this game or not. Because it just kind of gets everywhere. And, like, your sword looks so bad when it gets stained with blood. Because, you know, the graphics weren't great back in 2005 when they made this game. I know the game was released in 2006, but it wasn't made in 2006. So I can say that. For some reason, people are like, when a game comes out in, I don't know, January 2013, they're like, oh yeah, the game was made in 2013. But it wasn't. Really? Really? I didn't notice you? Alright, let's just... Wow, he hit his own headless zombie. Good job, man. Alright. I'm probably gonna just leave this cave soon. I hate when necromancers run around like that. It's really annoying. But yeah, necromancy is like the bad magic, so if anyone is ever a necromancer, they can never be good. Just so you guys know. I mean, I can understand why necromancy is probably not the most positive thing. and something you wouldn't want to leave your kids around. I mean, things that are dead should stay dead. You shouldn't be bringing them back to life. But, anyway. Let's see, what else is there to explore? Not a whole lot, to be honest. It looks like there's one more area. Acrobatics increased. Yeah, I think through this door over here is all that there's left to explore in this dungeon. <coughs> but, um, I don't think that I'm going to be getting any good loot or anything. Dwarven boots? Eh. Eh. Might as well, I guess. They're going to be slightly better than my mithril boots, but not by a lot. Of course, any armor I can get is probably... or chainmail boots. So the robe of the conjurer has some pretty good enchantments. I'm not going to wear it, but, um... The Archmage's robe, when you finish the main guild, actually has great enchantments on it. Again, I'm not going to wear that one either because, um, was this where I came in? No, I guess not. But the reason I'm not going to wear um, the Archmage's robe is because I want to train my armorer skill. And your armor doesn't go up if you're wearing robes because robes don't degrade. So there's a ghost. Just a regular old ghost? Wow, okay. Everything else is freaking high level and owns me. Sneak attack for three times damage. Take her out. So this dungeon is actually quite huge. Usually when you get huge boat... Oh. Dwarven bow. That's nice, but I already have one. And orcish boots. Lesser staff of frost. That's worth a fair amount, so I'll take it. Oh my goodness, I think I'm starting to get sick or something. Really runny nose. He has a glass mace. Hmm. I wouldn't mind that. I think that's a glass mace. Unless it's like a bound item. But yeah, I wouldn't mind that at all. I'll take it. If he drops it. I think it's better than my uh, elven short sword. Oh, of course it's a blunt weapon though, and my blunt skill is really low, and it's also not one of my major skills, so... Eh, we'll see. It gets oh, it only gives four damage, really? Wow. Never mind. We're not gonna take that because my uh, elven sword gives six. I believe it's six. It's either six or seven. One of the two. Oh, that was not a bad chest there. First, I thought it was over encumbered, but no, I was just stuck on something. When you're over encumbered, you can't even move at all. Unlike Skyrim, when you're over encumbered in Skyrim, you can still really slowly move. I don't believe you can fast travel, though. A glass bow? Oh my goodness. Now that, 
That is an upgrade. I wish I could find a glass sword, but... So, Dwarvenbow, 5 damage. Goodbye. Glassbow, 7 damage. Heck yeah. Alright. Big upgrade in the bow department. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's try this sucker out. Find someone to shoot while they're unsuspecting. So that's going to add like 6 more damage if I do a sneak attack, which is not bad at all. 6 damage is actually quite a bit. It might not sound like a lot, but in this game, um, people don't have like 500 health. So An ancient ghost, huh? Let's see how ancient you are after I'm done with you. My Majika would recharge. Really? I need one more. There we go. Alright, he's done. Please be something good. Nope. It's like 99% of chests are either just gold or a potion. Eh, or if you're lucky, a really crappy piece of armor that you wouldn't pick up. But that's all I ever get. Oh. Another chest here. Gold and... Oh yeah, you get lock picks from chests, and if you're lucky, a repair hammer. Not too often on those, though. Am I stuck? Really? <laughs> oh, I guess there is a way out here. Or is that upstairs that I'm looking Yeah, that's upstairs. Alright, well, it's, it, it was entirely pointless to come down here, except for that chest with the 14 golden lockpick. That was the only thing down there. Sorry, I didn't know. Alright, well, you know, I'm just going to go through the rest of this dungeon, and if I find anything really good, I'll resume the video, but otherwise I'll resume when I'm back at the Mage's Guild. So, exploring Dark Fissure turned out to be an entire waste of time, except for finding this glass bow. But, um, at higher levels, you know, bows like this are pretty common. You can find one every few dungeons, so it wasn't really that good of a decision to make. But anyway, so, as you can see from the actual quest itself, um, I had hardly anything to, act to do. So, now we have to seek out the Archmage which we will eventually be re replacing either because he dies or for some other reason I can't remember all right so give me give me money no give me a quest better than money so this is the last one that I have done um, so anything after this quest right here will be new to me so I'm really looking forward to that but anyway can I open this oh it's not bad so might as well I just spam auto attempt, that's how I open stuff now. Couple glass daggers. Oh, glass dagger replica. I don't know why they do that. Why couldn't they just put a glass dagger in there? I mean, I'm level 12. It's not like giving me a glass dagger would be all that big of a deal, but whatever. It's so hard to find um, higher level alchemy things like Alembics and what are the other called? Retort, something else. It's so hard to find higher level ones of those. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. This one's not fun. But it's just another alien ruin, and you gotta find a dude in there and make sure he's safe, I guess. I'm not sure he's, if he's actually dead. Whoa. 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 Let's all calm down now. Let's calm down. Oh, my goodness. I hate trolls. They're so annoying. Can't summon while in water? You can't summon while in water. Why are there trolls at Charcoal Cave? I've been here before. There weren't trolls last time I was here. What is this? What is this madness? Luckily, my arrows are doing a lot more damage now. Oh, look, a Nern root. How handy. I'll take that. <laughs> I was not expecting to find a Nern root there, but I'll take it. I will definitely take it. By the way, just a hint for you guys, the best way to find Nern Roots if you're looking for them. Well, first of all, you can go on the Elder Scrolls wiki, and they have a map there that shows every Nern Root in the game. Some total tryhard made that one. But um, another tip is they're always, almost always uh, close to water. Actually, I think they always are, you know, fairly close to water. So if you just want to walk around lakes and stuff, you can find Nern Roots, you know, fairly commonly. Um, don't look anywhere that's not close to water, though, because you won't find them. There's another Nern Root. Nern root. Just proving my point here. There you go. And we have quite a walk to Neon Twill. But I can train some conjuration on the way. I think I'm actually pretty close to 
100 conjuration. Yeah, I'm just about to get 94. So, yep, 94 conjuration now. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, my first master skill coming up pretty soon. Oh, there's an N up here too. Should I go discover it? I think I will. See what there is to see. I really wish one thing I could see is more enemies because I want something to fight. You gotta make your road trips interesting, you know? Alright, and we are here. So the best way to tell like how long someone has been playing Oblivion uh, is actually to look at their athletics skill for the most part because it just takes so long to train. I think I'm, you know, several hours in um, and I'm only 29 athletics, so it's just, it's so slow. Oh yeah, we have to talk to this guy. We don't kill him. But, you. What? but it's pretty funny what happens to this guy. Just watch. He's like, yeah, let's go. Oh, okay. So yeah, in case you didn't notice, he's dead. I was supposed to get a message that he's dead. Okay. I guess not. There's supposed to be a little pop-up on your screen saying, oh, he's dead. Am I going to have to reload this, really? Okay, the game just glitched. You're supposed to talk to this guy. You. I was sent here. He says, follow me. He dies. And then it's supposed to say, he's dead. You must go and explore on your own. See that? that pop-up. It glitched and it didn't show me that pop-up the first time. But anyway, ruined the moment because I thought that was pretty funny. I was like, just like, he's like, yeah, let's go. And also his body disappeared the first time. It did, did not disappear that time. Anyway, I thought that was funny. Maybe that's just my morbid sense of humor, but... So, um, do we have to go farther into this dungeon? Or do we just leave? Yeah, we do go farther into this dungeon. I couldn't remember, but I was going to say, if we just leave after that, that's pretty lame, but game does make you do that sometimes. And this is just Headless Zombie. I swear, some of the dungeons have, like, easy newbie monsters, and some of them have freaking really tough guys that you have to fight. I'm not sure who decided that, but... Like, Headless Zombies, they're a pushover. Really? Arrows freaking flying everywhere. Torches, take those. Alien cask. Take that stuff. That is not a skill book, so I won't even bother reading it. Okay, let's see what there is to see. But yeah, it's just an alien ruin. We've all seen alien ruins before. You know, usually there's a small puzzle associated with it. Usually there's a trap or two that will kill you if you aren't looking out. There's an elven mace. If I had higher blunt weapons, then that would be worth taking. My restoration skill increased. I'm going to go level up right now, hopefully. If there's any enemies too close nearby, I won't be able to, but hey, we're able to. Okay, level up to level 13. Endurance plus 4, st speed plus 3. Yeah, we'll do that. The ones I need to worry about are strength, uh, intelligence, and willpower. The rest, I'm not too concerned about. I guess uh, agility is kind of useful because it... Um, Govern so much damage you do with bows. So that one's useful. Speaking of bows, I'm almost out of arrows. I only have freaking 15 iron arrows left. I think I might have some steel arrows on me too. I'm not 100% sure on that. We can almost one shot necromancers now. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Like while sneaking, of course. We can't one shot them while not sneaking. Holy crap, he has heat seeking spells. Actually, the secret to dodging spells is to dodge right after the spell leaves his hand, otherwise it will hit you, but just a tip. Oh, and I was going to give you a tip on how to train athletics really fast. Um, the best way to train athletics, anyone wants to know, I'm just trying to impart some of my knowledge here, is uh, if you get like an amulet or just any part of armor enchanted with water breathing, and then you just go to... Um, a cor like a little corner underwater like I am right now and just uh, hold down your mouse button put some or put something down on whatever your walk button is if it's an Xbox controller if you just tape it and just have your character continuously walk into that corner or I guess swim into that corner because he's underwater and why you want to be underwater is because it trains much faster underwater 
There's a ghost that just went invisible. I don't know why ancient ghosts do that. I mean, what's the point? What's the point in going invisible? Anyway, take this guy out. Fools. Lockpicking is another skill. I know it's not called lockpicking, it's called security, but still. That is a skill that is just so incredibly slow, it's ridiculous. But yeah, we need to go in here and do some stuff. Oh yeah. She might look like an innocent little grandma, but she's not. She's actually evil and she will try to kill you, so you might as well just, you know, attack her. I think if she's supposed to talk to you if you go up close to her, but yeah, she is evil, so don't don't feel bad about killing her. Not sure what the point of having her is. Like, they gave her a specific name, and they gave her, like, you know, a voice, and she has something to say to you, but in the end, she says, like, three sentences, and then you just kill her, so there's not much point. Anyway. I'm so low on arrows, it's crazy. Hopefully this guy will drop me some arrows. Again, he has some heat-seeking arrows, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. Don't even try it. You're dead. Usually when archers get to low health, they'll pull out their dagger, and then they'll start like blocking your attacks and generally being a nuisance. But he didn't do that, so I can appreciate that. Steel arrows, okay, those are slightly better than the ones that I have. Um, at certain levels, steel and iron arrows do the exact same damage. I think at my level, iron arrows do four and steel... Oh, no, iron arrows do three, steel do four. Iron arrows do four and steel do four. So, yeah, iron and steel arrows do the exact same damage at my level. Um, once you level up a bit, that will change. Steel arrows will gradually uh, do five damage eventually. But, yeah, I mean, there's no point in steel arrows right now. I should sneak so the others... There are a couple other enemies in this area so that they don't notice me. There you go. Yeah, there's a couple other necromancers over there. One of their kin just died, but I don't think they noticed that. Time to get out my awesome lockpick. And lootage. So there's a soul gem trap over there. Just making you all aware of that. And a necromancer, which is right there. Let's take him out. Oh crap, he healed. And I'm going to be out of arrows after this shot. So let's do this. Boom. Summon that. Get out of sneak mode. Holy crap. That was a power attack. It staggered me because I don't have very high block. I need to train that. Just go ham on these guys. Block is just so useful though when you get to a higher skill because it means you don't get staggered anymore, which is awesome. And some other awesome abilities. I'm not sure if you have if there's shield bashing in this game. I know in Skyrim you could shield bash and like stun people, and that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't believe it, it. You can in Oblivion, but I'm not 100% sure on that either. And there's a regular zombie. Really? Why would you send a regular zombie at me? What's he gonna do? Okay, let's go after this necromancer and end him, cause he's getting annoying. Really, you're healing. This guy would just hold still. You and your bald head. Okay, thank you. A reliquary. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Ring of Freedom. Resist paralysis. I'm gonna take that. It's not great, but I don't have any other rings at the moment, so you know you gotta go with what you got. Um, and I believe you can equip two rings at once. So I got the first of those two. And as soon as I, there is a ring that I think. I think you get a ring as a reward from this quest. Um, maybe it's later on in the Mage's Guild, but there's a ring that's really good. I can't remember the enchantments on it. That you get either as a reward from this quest or later on. Glass Mace, Let's just Staff of Burden. Oh, Russell Felt, Shirt of Blade Turning. Not a very useful enchantment, but the monetary value is quite useful. So I'll take it. Okay, so I thought, I believe there's a couple more chests here. Push this block, that opens. We have to go through there. That was the only chest. 
And this is the guy that we need to kill. This is the guy that he sent us out to find. Mucius alias. How did I do that? Look, six times damage, and it still, like, barely made a dent in his health bar. So we want to summon him for a little bit of backup. Luckily, zombies are super easy to dodge their attacks, but still, this guy has just gobs and gobs and gobs of health. I just want to block one. Oh, never mind. But yeah, blocking attacks, of course. I think it's the more damage that you're blocking with your attack, the higher it trains your block skill, but I don't know. Maybe Bethesda wasn't that um, complicated at the time. I was pressing the block button, man. Come on. Okay, this guy will die soon, I promise. But yeah, he somehow got zombified. I'm not sure how that happened. Wasn't paying attention to the storyline, and I can't remember, but... Maybe the necromancers did this to him, I don't know. But yep, yeah, I found him. You tell me that after I killed him? <laughs> that I found him, but yeah. Chest back here, let's see, anything good? Nope. That was a crappy chest. I swear, it's just random. Uh, what kind of loot chests give because sometimes you can find a random chest in the middle of nowhere and it'll have beast loot and then you'll kill a really difficult monster at the end of a dungeon and loot the chest and it'll be like a potion of healing okay oh there's another chest here maybe this is the good one first we'll dispatch her I don't know why she's hanging out here really if she goes through the door Oh, I guess she can't, because there's a pressure plate first, but... I'm pretty sure this is the exit. I was going to say, if she goes through the exit, that is not going to make me happy. She would just... Uh, hold still. Hold still. I don't have any arrows right now. I can't shoot you. Okay, I do have a couple steel arrows, but... I mean, I have, like, five, so... Okay, finally. And she even had some pretty crappy drops, so... Nothing good in there. Chest. 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 Um, wasn't there one other chest? Oh, yeah, there was. Just walk past. Weak potion of healing. Typical. Torches. Alright, let's go. First, let's repair our armor. Because I will forget, and I will let my sword break again. Wow, my chainmail caress was completely broken. Armor skill increase. That's what I like to see. Getting up to 50. I really want 50 armor. Only Okay, 31. That's not very far, but it's making progress at least. And I hope that this is actually the way out. Don't know that for a fact, but I hope. Oh yeah. This is where we go. This is the beginning. And, uh, time to go back to the Mages Guild. Turn this in. Hopefully get some awesome rewards. I don't think so. I mean, you hardly ever get g decent rewards from the Mages Guild. Hmm. I really do need to upgrade my armor as soon as I can. I just haven't been getting anything good drop-wise. I mean, I got those dwarven boots, but that's about it. Probably have to wait till daytime, which is annoying, but it's just... Oh, yeah, um, I forgot. I got this quest from the Archmage, not from the dude who stands in the Archmage's lobby. Hey, what's up? But you can go into his bedroom. It's technically trespassing, but I don't think he's going to call the cops, so... Wake him up in the middle of the night to what tell him that your friend was a zombie. I'm sorry. Before we continue, great. I need to talk to about Raminus Polis about advancement in the guild. I mean, why? I just advanced. I don't need to advance again. I'm perfectly happy being the rank that I am. I just didn't want to wait seven hours to be honest, but whatever. We get some new robes now. Yay! Not all that excited. I don't know what rank I am going to be now. Oh, here. It's my there you are. Advance me. Your role within the are you not going to give me new rolls? New robes? Rolls. If you gave me Swiss rolls, I would be happy about that. There is an urgent ma yeah, I'm sure there is. I'm ready. Let's go. Janus Hasseldor. Wasn't he the vampire guy? I think he was. Hello. She is tall. Holy crap. She is a high elf, though. High elves are always really tall. It's always a bit weird when a woman is, like, way taller than a man. You wouldn't normally expect that. Okay. Skin grad. Yes, we are going back to the vampire account, and I haven't done this quest in a long, 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 long time. 
because, you know, the last time I played through Oblivion, I didn't quite get to this one. So anyway, this is going to be all new stuff for me as well. Well, kind of new. It's going to be revisiting my past. So, we gotta go talk to the Count. He can only come out at night because he's a vampire. Um, I'm not sure if he can walk indoors, but I know he can only go out into the day at night. What do, you what do I want? I want to see the Count. Are you gonna let me see the Count? I would Count. buy a Count in town. Counts. Count Skingrad is a very His name isn't Count Skingrad, it's Count Hasseldor. You'll have to speak with yeah, the Skingrad house is awesome, and I do want to get that eventually. Um, I should talk to Howlers. Oh, I think I know what I got to do. So this, yeah. Thank Count Skingrad is a very private person. Great. I just wasted a ton of money <laughs> for no reason. Maybe we have to wait till like after 10 p.m. when it gets dark or something. It should 